Hey, Mom. Hey, honey. How are you? He have been again last night. Oh, sweetie, don't tell me you were sleepwalking again. Did Rose see you? Que pena. Yeah. He actually helped me come out of it. Oh, my God. This always happens when you're stressed. Even when you were a little girl. Are you okay, mijita? You know I'm not. It's becoming more... intense. Doctor? He's not a magician, Mom. He's a shrink. Listen, I don't want to talk about it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And the pills are going to help me either. But, honey, you've only been back for a little while. You have to give this process time. Talk to your psychiatrist, Mija. It's good for you. But if you keep bottling everything inside, eventually. What does that even mean, Mom? It means when. Something breaks inside your head. It's really hard to put it back together again. You need to find a healthy way to de-stress. Because if you don't, you're not gonna like who you become. I gotta go, okay? Bye. You talk to Mama Bear? Yeah. You tell her what happened last night? Yeah. She's a little worried. I am too. And me three. You know what I'm saying? It's not like you talk to me about these types of things. And I just want to know why. Do you remember how happy and stress-free you used to be? It was such a good time. It really was. It reminds me of when I was a kid. My mom would send me to my grandparents' farm. I spend my summers breathing in fresh air, chasing chickens, riding horses. The point is, every time I was there, I was always super relaxed, stress-free. So you want to take me to your grandparents' farm? The farm was sold a long time ago. My grandparents died right behind it, so. But I did see this badass ranch online. I feel I have a little stress-free activity. It is a little far, but I do think it's going to be worth it. Here, I'll send you the link. Check it out. We'll be out riding horses, ATVs. We'll practically have the property to ourselves. I'm gonna submit a request. Let's see if they respond. It does sound like a good idea. And if you decide you don't wanna come, that's fine, cause I'm just gonna take your mom with me instead. My mom? Yeah. Oh yeah, your mom. Solo time with your suegra? Yeah, just a little bonding. Solo time with your suegra. <laughs> bonding, bonding, bonding. I haven't ridden horses since I was a little girl, so. Boom, there it goes, shorty. We got the ranch for the whole weekend. Baby, I love you so much. Okay, don't expect me to chase any chicken. Hilarious.
how many pairs of underwear are you gonna take? If there's one thing I ever learned from my mama girl, you could never have enough pairs of clean underwear. How much clean underwear you take in? Are you seriously taking those? What, these? These? Is one box not enough? Look, babe, I get it. You're not ready, it's not something you're trying to do right now, and I respect it. You complaining about me bringing extra underwear and condoms and you gonna pack that? I didn't have any protein bars, babe. So I got you out. Okay. Is this guy looking at us? I can't even use the fast. Just ignore him. It looks like this guy's walking the horse. Oh, open up. Well. <laughs> yeah, I really, I'm really not good at scaring people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm really not good at acting scared either. <laughs> That's all one of these are coconuts. Oh, this is nice. Wow. You gotta get on this Really? One. Yes. Oh my God, okay. Nice. Yeah, it is. We should have stayed here. Do you know how far we are from the ranch? Forever. But that's cool. So nobody can get to us. None of my friends will bother us. We'll be good. Ooh, <laughs> here we go. this coconut. Uh, but it's good. Yeah, I don't know if this driver's gonna want a mango or a strawberry, but uh... That's my feet off for you. Appreciate you making a stop for us, brother. Yeah, no problem. people out here, so if one person goes missing, everybody freaks out. You know, that's like a quarter of the population. Means I'd give me a nice little cheeseburger. You, uh, you take a lot of people to where we're staying at, brother? Nah, nah, not really. I mean, I know the area well. You guys are going pretty far out there. It's nothing for miles and miles and miles away. My grandma would say, you guys are going to Cule el Mundo. <laughs> Cule el Mundo? It just means far away. Please don't say it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's pronounced culo el mundo. You should try that. It's, culo it's el mundo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, you gotta teach me that. I mean, that's what we want. We want to be away from this city. Just relax. Get away from everybody and everything. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys are looking for secluded, that's definitely where you're gonna get out there. It's gonna be just you and a shit ton of mosquitoes. 
It's gonna be a party. Alrighty, folks, we're here. Okay. I hope it looks better on the inside. Yeah, I like it. You look private. Alrighty, folks, I hope you had a great ride with me. You should leave that in the comments, five stars. You know, a little tip wouldn't hurt. Absolutely. Forget about that. And you? You good luck. All right, you guys have a good one. Good luck. Good luck. Tip. I give him a tip. How about you stop kissing ladies' hands you don't know? Wait. I don't feel right coming in like this. Babe, we paid for the whole weekend. They know that we're coming. This house has a history, man. It says on here the house is over 100 years old. It survived hurricanes, floods. Everything, man, even... What? Nothing. What? Nothing, babe. We just got here. I don't want to ruin your know. image of the place. Give me your phone. Someone was killed here? Yeah, that's what the article says. But it happened a long time ago. One of those we don't take too kindly to your type sort of things. You know, like how your dad tried me the first day you brought me home. OK. You don't need to bring that up. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, this place looks nothing like what we saw online. You're telling me, man, nothing. Okay. See all this art that he has in here? Very interesting. All this cultural stuff? He's open-minded. <laughs> Who reminds you of what? <laughs> Make yourselves at home, and we'll catch up in the morning. Much regards, Mr. Godwin. <sighs> well, that's enough for me. Michelle, so let's find some food. Rose Sterling? Yeah, we got your note last night, so we just went ahead and made ourselves comfortable. I hope that's all right. Yes, it's fine. You brought your girlfriend with you as well. Oh. Babe. The owner's here. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. I'm Elisa. Elisa. 
Lovely to meet you. I'm William Godwin. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. Well, uh, Mr. Godwin, to be 100% honest, we weren't expecting a white man cock in hand to be waking us up this early in the morning, so if you don't mind, we... But here on the ranch, we like to rise with the sun and the horses. They're on their best behavior right after breakfast. Okay, well, we'll join you. Great. All right. Anything else? It's a beautiful day. Just give us a minute. We'll see you soon. Good. So here he is, Thunderbolt. All right, Mr. Godwin, I see you. Now this is what I paid all the money for, Godwin. This is the good time right here. Does he go fast? Very fast. You gotta. It's OK. I used to ride horses just like you back at the stable when I was a kid. <laughs> you are just fine. Aren't you handsome? So when do we get to ride him? OK, Eliza, I'm going to give you the reins. Thank okay. you, okay. Mr. Gutwin. Go. All right, all right, all right. OK, Come on, I got it. Okay. Come on, baby, oh. I thought you were a prod this. Yo, I said that I rode these things when I was a kid, <laughs> and I never said I was good at it. It's like riding a bike, bro. This is not like riding a bike. Come on. <laughs> Come where? Where are we going? Where? So I hope Don and I didn't disturb you last night. Oh, no. We didn't even know this. I didn't know somebody else was working in the ranch. Oh, yeah. I couldn't maintain this entire ranch by myself. Don. Yes, doctor? Don, I want you to meet Eliza. Oh, sorry about the odor, by the way. You are on a ranch. Yes. Pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. It's Elisa. Pleasure to meet you. I was just explaining to her that we apologize for all the loud noise we were making last evening when we were working. Oh, no. Sorry, we're sorry. No, like I was telling you, I, we didn't even notice, so nothing to apologize for. It's okay. Oh, if there's if there's anything we can we can help you with, please, please let us know. Thank you, Don. Okay, then. Is we have to make sure we get them a little bit more water. I'll show you the rest of the way. If you don't mind me asking, um, what's wrong with his hand? Oh, John, 
Uh, yeah, so he was thrown from a horse and he severed his lateral epicondyl. Fortunately, I used my medical skills to patch him up. Oh, you have medical skills? I, I was a medic for the army. Really? Yeah. I was a resident in surgery and I specialized in extremity transplant. Cool. Oh, I have a journal like that at home, courtesy of my therapist. Oh, who's that? I'm sorry, I keep asking so many questions. Uh, it's, um, it's my wife. We used to get stared at a lot, and um, I always knew what people were thinking. Yeah, I think I can relate a little bit. She was a victim. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked, I'm sorry. Okay. Eliza. Yo, Mama Bear, what's good? Hello, I'm worried about you. Nah, we're out. Huh? Deep now, come home. Can you hear me? Nah, I can't hear you. Hey, Don. How is it? It's bad. We're doing it for her. So don't let your sympathies get in the way. Yes, Doctor. Because of her, I'll follow you to the end. something like legit crazy i bet it's not as crazy as what i have to tell you all right selfish go first no no you go first all right so we legit are literally in the middle yeah. of fucking nowhere i must have rode the atv for at least an hour i almost ran out of gas trying to get back it's just nothing nothing but emptiness <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I've got the munchies. Don't expect to get no quesadillas or burritos or anything like that. Driver wasn't playing when he said we're in bumfuck Egypt. Wait, so you're telling me there's a Mexican place around? Does it look like there's a Mexican place? What about Colombia place? Egypt. Cuban places? No, nothing. <laughs> uh, so Mr. Gatwin really up and up to me. He told me that his wife, his black wife, was killed. She's the one that was killed here, like the article said. Black wife? Mm-hmm. Well, you know what they say about going black. <coughs> Shut up. You know all about it. Shut up. Shut up, seriously. It felt like he really loved her, you know? Like I love you? Your mom called, by the way. 
She said something about... She told me what happened. What do you mean? She said when you were six, you went down a slide, got stung by a bunch of bees, and you were never the same since. Yeah? <laughs> she, she just wanted to tell us to have fun, though, have a good time. Okay. You're having fun, right? Stay with me. Nah, get in, man. No, let me just get a little bit of the sun. I want to relax. When God was out here cutting grass all out, how you gonna relax? I know, he's making so much noise. He's waking up the chickens, man. But ironically, your phone doesn't make any noise. It's like the universe told everybody to leave us alone today. You're right, let me see, hold up. Oh, I know why. There's no service here. There's no Wi-Fi either. What if my mom tries to contact me or something? Why are you always so worried about your mom? I can't even take a trip without you bringing her up. Like, that's what I'm here for. That's what you're supposed to talk to me for. I know, baby, I know. It's just... It's just what? I've been trying to give you space, but it, it just doesn't seem like I'm getting anywhere. You got me stuck in the dark here. I, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do next at all. So you're not gonna tell me nothing. All right. All right. All right. Oh no! All that no! All that no! No! All that no! 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 Now it's no! 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 Now it's no! 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 Yeah! Yeah! All that no! 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 Crap! Oh my. 
goodness. Oh my God, babe. You gotta wake me up like that? Babe, you don't feel that? We're in here sweating balls. And I think the electricity's out, babe. About 40%. Yeah, babe, I think we're out of power. Mm. I've been guilty of many sins. Most of which deeply regret. But I found a way to cure the blight of racial hate. Yo, Mr. Godwin. It's Ro, we need to talk to you, man. Maybe we shouldn't. Why not? I'm just a black man entering a white man's house without his authority. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Of course, Godwin got power in his house. I guess so. Doesn't feel right to be here. Yo, Godwin, you here? Shh. Come on, let's check upstairs. Oh no, I'm not going up there. <gasps> Bro. My apologies, I really didn't mean to scare you. Yeah, sure you did. Power's out, AC's not going. I can't even charge my phone. We haven't had a Wi-Fi signal since we got here. Make sure I take care of that. But since you stopped by, why don't you uh, join me for dinner? 
No, we're not joining you for no dinner, man. We're trying to get our power turned back on. We, we kind of already had plans set. And you should be fixing the power anyway, not cooking, right? No, we, we will join you. Okay. Whatever. Excellent. 8 p.m. Perfect. And if you need me next time, just uh, ring the doorbell. And... Yeah, he's putting you in this stuff. Yeah, just ring the doorbell. Uh, don't worry about the lights. I'll make sure they get turned on. Bye. Thank you. What you burying? Whoa, 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 whoa! What, God wouldn't let his workers take showers, man? I got a shower right up in my room if you need a piece. You all good, man. I'm Elisa's boyfriend. She told me all about you. You done, right? Hey. How long you know Mr. Godwin? I've known Mr. Godwin for a long time. Where are you from? Here. Well, I just need a little help finding Mr. Godwin, man. He told us he'd have the electricity back on hours ago. Here we are still with nothing, and we hella got to charge these phones. There is no reception here. Yeah, I know. You're right. There isn't. And what's up with Mr. Godwin anyway? That's a strange dude. Mr. Godwin was a good doctor. He saved me. I was on the streets. Anyway, I I'm sorry if you make excuse me. Hold on, man. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I didn't mean to hurt you. Just let Mr. Godwin know we need the electricity turned back on. We ain't trying to sleep in no sauna tonight. Woo! I'm at 20%. Not that it matters. Maya's dead. Yeah. We'll talk to him about it at dinner. Dinner? You still trying to go to this dinner? Let's ditch the dinner, cut our vacation short, and spend our last day in a hotel with air conditioning. Baby, you heard what I heard. There's somebody behind that door at Gatlin's house. I know it. We are going to that dinner. Whatever. Baby? Baby. I'm really actually very happy that you decided to come over. I like to get to know my guests a little bit more intimately. Thank you for having us. We really appreciate the hospitality. There you go. Thank you. So what you plan on cooking up for us tonight anyway? Oh, it's called haggis. Haggis? Yeah, you take cow's heart, lungs, and liver and cram it all into a sheep's stomach, then you boil it. That's the way I prepare it. It's remarkably delicious combined together. Thank you. My pleasure. Dig in. Bon appetit, I guess. How do you like it? It's better than expected. It's, 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 it's better than expected. You're listening to one of two point four The Hub. ICE officers are planning on sweeping the streets of sanctuary cities. Advocacy groups are recommending undocumented immigrants stay indoors to avoid being identified and detained. Are you okay, Mr. Copper? I just, I, I just can't listen to the news anymore. It's too upsetting. You're always hearing about some cop who guns down an innocent African-American. 
political figures who take advantage of their position, undocumented immigrants who have to scurry like rats in the sewers. You know what, Mr. Gawa? I definitely feel you, man. Excuse my French, but people these days are a little fucked up. Unity is the answer. The end of division. The welding of people has won. Seems to me that as long as we are all different, we're gonna find something to hate about each other. May I use your bathroom, please? Sure, it's right down the hall. Thank you. Excuse me. What's your blood type? I wonder what your blood says about you. I don't know too many people that walk around and know their blood type. But who the hell is in the house with us, man? No one. I live alone, and Don is on the other side of the ranch in his sleeping quarters. No, 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 no. I saw somebody. I'm not crazy. I'm crazy. Baby, it's okay, baby. Baby, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay, baby. Come with me. Babe, me and Godwin just got back from searching the whole property, and we didn't see nobody out there. And when I took this trip, it was more so of a vacation so you can come out here, get some fresh air, clear your mind type of thing. It seems like it's doing more harm than good. I just feel like I'm fucking up. <sighs> we should have went to the beach. Could never ever go wrong with the beach. There was someone in that room with me. Seriously, babe? I need you to believe me. Babe, stress is a hell of a drug. You know stress will have you seeing, hearing, feeling all type of things that ain't even there. Stop. Babe, I don't get it. I You know what? I do get it. I understand. Doesn't mean I gotta like this shit. Not everything's a fucking joke, you know? There was someone in that room. What is this? 
Separation by race is the greatest evil perpetrated by humankind. The color of someone's skin can cause so much division and hatred. I can't tolerate that. If my experiment is successful, it will mean the solution to the ugliness of racial hatred and divisiveness. This being will be incapable of hatred towards others solely based on color of their skin. Creation will be from everywhere and from nowhere. Done. Hey, have you seen Bro? I've been looking all over for him. No, I, I haven't seen him. They're beautiful, aren't they? Horses are more clever than people. They can see what we can't see. Like Thunderbolt. He doesn't allow anyone to ride him who doesn't have a good heart. Alyssa, are you understanding what I'm telling you? Listen, Don, I don't have time for this, okay? We don't have any power. We can't charge our phones. We have no communication with the outside world. Bro and I have to go. Please. Those got one have a landline so I can call for a ride. The landline? Yes. There's no landline? What about Wi-Fi? How do he approve our request to stay here? There was no problem with the electricity, was there? These horses, they can travel miles. At least they'll take you to the nearest town. Yes. Alyssa, are you paying attention? Get on a horse and leave. Yes, son. I need to find Ro, okay? Ro! Don't take too long. Ro! Ro! Come on!
I remember when we were little kids and we used to play hide and go seek. I hated that game. But she was a good finder, so I was always the hider. One day she took so long finding me that I fell asleep and mother, mother panic. I remember waking up, going into the kitchen for a snack. But instead I was greeted by a room filled with police. Mother ran to me and she hugged me so hard. But Sarah, after seeing the trouble that she had caused and, and the pain in mother's eyes, well, she never wanted to play hide and seek again. This should never have happened to her. Doctor, she would have never wanted this. Ro and Elisa, they're good people. What is wrong with you? They were all good people. Start the preparations. There was a man, there was somebody, there was some... The man in the welder's mask? Yes. Yes. Baby, I am so sorry. I did not believe you, baby. It's okay, it's okay. Listen, we need to get to the horses, okay? How are we gonna... It's the only way of this ranch. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Godwin, what the hell is going on here? In some ways, you remind me a lot of my wife and I. You're just gonna be perfect for my little experiment. Experiment? 
First of all, we ain't taking part in no fucking experiment. And second of all, what's this obsession with race, man? You're a fucking closet racist. What did you call me? So the way you got us in here all trapped up so you can tell us about Martin Luther King and Malcolm X? After many failed undertakings, I had the Genesis created. This one did not fail me. Now both of you are gonna participate in my experiment. Piz, man, we ain't participating in nothing. You don't need us, man. Let us go. Sir, Mr. Gutwin, please, we don't want any trouble, okay? We just wanna go home. I promise you we will not tell anybody about this place. Just please let us go. My wife was taken from me from this very property. She was killed by my Puritan brother. And I realized this was not an isolated issue, so I had to do something about it. Duke, show them. Most of my creations are made of a black, white, and Latino. And to think that he was once a bigoted deputy who thought I tainted the bloodline. Hell! Let me out of here, William! People are gonna come looking for me! They never look for Sarah. They're not gonna look for you. And when I'm done with you, they're not gonna recognize you. No one's gonna recognize your face. You're gonna pay for what you did. <laughs> After lobotomy, he had an attitude adjustment and my welding techniques revolutionized his body. And also we have Don. Don, come here. He offered me his arm. A wonderful donation, don't you think? Look, I can appreciate your experiment. Bravo to you for coming up with a Let's call it a solution. But you don't need us, God, but let us go. <laughs> but you're not seeing the bigger picture. You're part of the solution. I need your body parts. Don, take them to the surgery room. Baby, run, Elisa, go! Go find her. Go get her now. <laughs> It's all for the greater good. and you gonna pack that? You know, it makes me feel safer. 
I'm supposed to make you feel safe. That's what these right here are for. I know. I'll promise I have it in my bag the whole time. I won't take it out. It's just for my peace hey, of mind. Just take it with you. If it makes you feel safer, just bring it. If you want to bring the gun, bring the gun. Done? Crow needs more anesthesia. What have you done to him? You know, good parts are hard to find. I wasn't able to save my wife, but I feel she's with us in many ways. Doctor, my arm. Done. We'll test Rose's blood type, and if it's a match, we'll do cross-matching tissue typing. I promise you, this time it will stick. I need more soldering material. Done. Watch them. Make sure she doesn't get away. I promise you. I warned you. I told you to go. Please. Now it's too late. No, no. You're a good person. It's never too late to do the right thing. Come on. You will go, please. Please. You used to help people like me. Help us. <laughs> they 
baby, I'm so sorry. Help me. I'm sorry. This is for you, Sarah. What's going on here? Lay down. Eliza, you're making a mistake. It's Elisa! Lay down! Duke!
mistake I make. Oh, thanks. So you must have really enjoyed your stay if you were coming back. Huh? I did, actually. It's exactly what I needed. We get to reflect on cold. I've actually found a way to align. Well, that's good. And you're all by yourself. Where's your boyfriend at? Does that mean you're singing now? You wanna come in? We can have some drinks. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Let's 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 have some drinks. Why not? I've been busy, that's all. But everything's fine. You have me so worried. Tell me, are you okay? How are you feeling? I haven't felt like this in months. I feel... free. Oh, what a relief. What about Ro? How is he doing? I think he's gonna be just fine. And I think I'm ready to tell him what happened to me. But what happened over there? When are you coming home? I love you. Elisa, don't hang off. What happened? Ha <laughs> 
Doctor, you were next. We're gonna get you all fixed up.
there's a whole lot of trouble those who claim they know it all waving their flags and shouting Babylon is gonna fall the drones are hitting home mortar made of blood and bones we are mired in descent but we settle for consent